Almost one year ago, I applied to 11 colleges and I recorded my reaction to each of the decisions. I applied to six colleges during the early admissions process and five during regular decisions. Relative to the rest of YouTube, 11 colleges may not seem like a lot. And I guess I kind of agree with that because in hindsight, I would suggest applying to as many colleges as you reasonably can because one, you worked really hard on those essays, you spent so many hours staring at that Google Doc, so why not just send them off because one of them could be your future home. And number two, college admissions has a randomness factor to it and this is the best way you can deal with it. And from the background, you can see that I am currently in a college dorm. So, spoiler alert, one of these reactions is gonna be positive or maybe multiple, who knows? And I did record my move-in process as well. On 12-12, at 12 p.m. in Caltech's quirky fashion, they released my first decision. Status update. Okay, here we go. Ah. Uh, I expected this. Unable to offer you a place. I must have seemed a little crazy for smiling through that rejection, but it was because it was my first college decision and I was super excited just to find out what it was like. Okay, the second college I got to see was MIT, which also came out in December. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Deferred! I got deferred! Whoa! 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 Whoa. 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 Defer I think my family was pretty proud I didn't get rejected. <laughs> Alright, in January, I got to see Georgia Tech, which I really liked. Definitely felt a lot of adrenaline, excitement, happiness, getting my first admissions. And being all the way back in January, it gave me a lot of security since I knew really early that I had a college to go to and one that I really liked. And Georgia Tech was also the first college app I submitted and all those supplements I used in other college apps. So being accepted, gave me a good sign that I was on the right track. Okay, ready, set. Yay! Honors. Obligatory disclaimer that I was applying for Maryland, so I was able to send in my application as an in-state student. And the next one is UT Austin. Oh no! Rejected! Alright, that was the end of all the early admissions colleges and now we can move on to apps open during the regular decisions, which is around March. Less adrenaline in this missions, but definitely pure shock. Was mind blown that I got in and made me it made my month. Alright, for the last public school on this list, you see Berkeley.
Berkeley dropping the number of applicants they got definitely made me feel a little better. March 27th came Carnegie. I happened to be at work when it was announced and I was not patient enough to wait till I got off. So I borrowed a coworker's phone and recorded on that. So that explains the consistency. Dang it, didn't get in. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Harrison. And next we have rice. Okay. That was a waitlist from Rice, and I didn't express continued interest, so I'm gonna consider that a reject. And next up is Ivy Day. Got two Ivies on my list Cornell, Columbia. Despite the chain of L's at the end, college application process was finally officially over and that felt better than any rejection. And I could finally enjoy the rest of my senior year and the summer without worrying about anything. And the final results of these months of stress is this. Mm -hmm.